Welcome to the Hot Mic SE. Matumba Anthony, a prominent member of the EFF Central Command team and former member of parliament, has delivered a scathing critique of Jacob Zuma, accusing the former president of South Africa of undermining black unity and fostering divisions within the African National Congress. In his statement, Anthony labeled Zuma a regional and tribalistic political fraud masquerading as the possible unifier of black people, asserting that Zuma has been a tool of white monopoly capital rather than a champion of unity. Anthony provided historical data to bolster his claims, pointing out that Zuma's tenure as ANC president marked a significant decline in the party's electoral performance. The ANC lost its seat in parliament for the first time under Jacob Zuma, he emphasized. Citing parliamentary figures, Antony highlighted how the ANC seats dropped from 279 in 2004 under Thabo Mbeki to 264 in 2009 and further to 249 in 2014 during Zuma's leadership. He attributed the decline to Zuma's divisive tactics, including the formation of factions, purging of comrades and the collapse of structures like the ANC Youth League. According to Anthony, Zuma's political success is rooted in tribal and regional loyalties, particularly in KwaZulu-Natal. He noted that under Mandela and Becky, the ANT never garnered over 2 million votes in KwaZulu-Natal, but under Zuma, the party achieved this milestone in 2009. Despite this regional strength, Anthony argued Zuma's leadership alienated many South Africans, driving opposition parties to gain ground nationally. Anthony also accused Zuma of using his influence to consolidate power within the MK party, transforming it into a personal vehicle for his ambitions. He cited the party's 2024 election results, where 1.5 million of its 2.3 million votes came from KwaZulu-Natal, as evidence of Zuma's continued reliance on tribal politics. Jacob Zuma and his MK party were rejected nationally, but were rescued by his regional and tribal votes, Anthony stated. The EFF leader concluded with a damning indictment, accusing Zuma of enabling Tibi Ramaphosa's rise to ANC leadership and funding apartheid operative Eugene the Rock. Jacob Zuma is one of us in color, but he's not with us in action, he declared, emphasizing that Zuma's legacy is one of division, not unity. Thank you all for watching, and please don't forget to kindly drop your comments, drop a like, and please don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell for more updates. Thank you.